Earth's coldest and driest continent, Antarctica, is warming at an alarming rate. Now, the West Antarctic sheet particularly has started losing ice, contributing to a significant rise in sea level. Our next report gets you more details on the ice loss and rise in sea level in and around Antarctica. Take a look. Antarctica is heating up faster than expected. A new scientific study reveals that it's warming nearly double the global rate. Now this could have significant consequences for rising sea levels. The analysis of 78 ice cores spanning 1,000 years shows that this warming is beyond natural fluctuations. In the western region of the southernmost continent, there is a region with a large ice sheet which is quite vulnerable to warming. Now if this phenomena continues, there is a high chance of this ice sheet collapsing which will push up the global sea levels by several meters. Ice sheets work at thousands of years and then these extreme events happen on the space of hours. And both are very, very important in, in you know, being able to estimate sea level rise and eventually the effect on global communities. Climate scientists have also been predicting for years that the polar region warm faster in comparison to the rest of the world. According to a research published by Natural Climate Change, Antarctica was warming at a rate between 0.22 degrees Celsius and 0.32 degrees Celsius. Sea ice in the Antarctic region is continuously falling to a record low. And experts warn there is no quick fix to reverse the region's damage. Sea ice concentration around Antarctica has been declining since 2016. Later in March 2022, ocean heat content reached record high levels, leading to an ocean heat wave. Now this year's March heat wave was really a dramatic one. It brought both heat and moisture primarily to East Antarctica. The continent also saw the collapse of the Kwanga ice shelf, an ice shelf about the size of Rome. What that means is that you have this river of moisture being directed from lower, lower latitudes uh, towards East Antarctica. And this added a massive amount of precipitation in March, as well as record high temperatures. So uh, um, uh, an automatic weather station, which is actually in the interior of the continent, saw temperatures that were 40 degrees Celsius higher than the typical March mean. So that led to you know, a, a brief amount of surface melt, but mostly it led to a lot of precipitation, and that led to this, this record uh, surface mass balance here. Another published report by the Potsdam Institute of Research warns that even though this ice sheet is not destabilized yet, there is a chance that the point of no return could come sooner than later. Preserving Antarctica is crucial for the world and its climate. Currently, the Antarctic ice sheet is losing six times more mass into the ocean than it was 30 years ago. It holds enough water that if it melted entirely, the world's sea levels would rise by around 57 meters, inundating the entire planet. Scientists have struggled to measure the extent to which global warming is affecting the thickness of Antarctic ice. But experts say it is quote-unquote scientifically reasonable to assume that extreme events are going to intensify. This as global temperatures rise from phenomena such as the rapid sea ice decline. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.